How bad do you want it? Private pilot. Today's video is for Bruce. So, coffee cup for the day. Believe in yourself, okay? If, the, if you're not into the motivational videos we're doing every day, then this might not be the channel for you. You can go for your dreams, you can do it, and this is for Bruce, who first sent me a long email, and, I, and he shares his story with me, all the struggles, lifelong dream, finally trying to get there, and Bruce is 61 years old. And he finally said, I'm all in. I got, I saw, uh, you know, the go all in attitude from your videos and, and how bad do you want it? You know, and he put big, bold letters. So <clears throat> that email was from a while back. Now he's got a question today that I want to get to that'll help with flight training. I'm Kenny Keller, creator of Helicopter Land Ground School. And he, Bruce is now a private pilot member. He's been going through the books, hasn't started flight training yet. And he said, Kenny, question, I have completed almost 100 of your 163 private pilot videos. Hell yeah. Completed reading the helicopter flying handbook. Nice job. I have read about one third of the POH for an R-22 and will start your training videos for R-22s in the next few days. Very nice. Excuse me. <clears throat> what is your advice as to timing to start actual flight training? I want to be as prepared as possible when I arrive to your school. Should I be through all the material first? Thanks for the videos and per my last email inspiration because he inspired another video. Bruce, go for it. Start training now. <clears throat> I want to say over the years, we've told people we really prefer, you know, it's best if you start doing flight training and ground training together so that as you're learning the ground subjects, you're actually also getting exposed to the helicopter and seeing these things firsthand that you're learning. That's what, you know, most of us have taught for years. Now with Helicopter Learning Ground School, you know, we had, it started with, with one day I get an email from an instructor in Florida who goes, Kenny, we just had a guy walk in here to do the three-week private pilot course and his ground was done. And I'll put that video down below because it's a great story and you hear from his instructor. His name was Johan. Incredible story. He walked in, had all the knowledge, did the flight training, three weeks, done. Came from overseas, shows up, does the rating. They had to do no ground with him other than to check his knowledge and make sure it was good. So Bruce has already started before flight training. So even though over the years we've normally said do the flight and ground together, usually works best, we have more and more members just like Bruce and like Johan who are going through videos and learning as much as they can prior to getting to the flight school and starting training. So my attitude has changed over the years where we always said, well, it's best if you do them together. But in a case like where Johan was involved, he had only so much time off of his job per year. He worked like 10 months as a farmer. I met Johan after all this in California, I had supper on the ocean with him and his wife and me and my daughter and when we sat and talked and I said Johan what did you do and he said I had an iPad in the tractor and all day long I'm driving up and down and I'm watching your private pilot videos over and over and over and that's how he showed up prepared at his flight school Bruce mentioned he watched another one of our videos uh, I did on the most prepared student of all time that showed up without having a, a even a flight hour yet I'll put that link down below too he was inspired by that one so Bruce went and got everything he, he needed He's been going through. So, Bruce, to answer your question, start flying now. I mean, you're this close. You've done that much. No need. I mean, keep going, but go ahead and start flying because now you're going to walk in there to your flight school and at least have a lot of the basic knowledge. You don't have to be an expert, but most likely the flight school you go to, they're probably going to be kind of impressed that you've already started and you know something because here's what we see in flight training over the years. Everybody wants to fly, nobody wants to do ground, okay? This is common across the board. You get a student in and you get them flying and you get them out in the aircraft and you're going, hey, are you studying? Or you try to do ground with them. Oh, well, I'll do ground tomorrow. A lot of times you, a person has to be really motivated to get through the ground for the private pilot or any rating, okay? Nobody's gonna just hand you the license. It's gonna take effort on your part, whether you self-read at home, everything you need to know, you become a helicopter line ground school member, you pay your instructor per hour to do all the ground with you. You got to put the time in and you have to have the knowledge to apply it in the aircraft to be safe and go get your license. So 
I've changed my attitude a little bit about this over the years. Again, we still recommend it's probably best to do both, fly ground, fly ground, fly ground. But in these instances where people want to be more prepared before going in, I've watched it happen over the last three or four years. We've been online seven years now with Helicopter Line Ground School, but this story is repeating itself where members are going through videos and showing up their flight schools and their flight schools going, wow, nice job on the knowledge. And once in a while, you might get a flight school instructor that, you know, kind of gives a student a little hard time and says, well, we're going to teach you that ground. You don't need that. But not generally. Most of the time, most instructors just want to fly anyway, especially if they're younger and building time. So a lot of them are pretty darn happy when a student shows up with a bunch of knowledge already. They're like, oh, man, I can just do a little ground with this guy, do his flying, and, and move him on down the road. Sad reality, but that's, that's true. So Bruce, go for it. 61 years old. For all those naysayers that keep saying, oh, you're too old, don't do it. Bull crap. There's people instructing into their 70s and 80s. And I keep repeating this in the videos, but I get this question a lot about the age thing. 61, you can do it. Heck, you know, we know people are living longer now, and that's going to continue to happen. And he's, Bruce said, he goes, well, I may pursue the commercial and the instrument, and, you know, I've been saving for years on this. So it's like, you know what? I'm not spoiling Bruce's dream, and nobody else should either. Bruce, you're on the right track. You're studying. You're hitting the books. You're watching the videos. You're reading the POH. You're that far through, schedule that flight training lesson and go get started in the helicopter, man. And good for you at 61, going for your dream that you've worked so hard for. And again, Bruce's story, I didn't read it to you because it's a really long email. Everybody has a story. We all struggle. Everybody has struggles. Private pilot isn't usually easy for anyone. And we all have our own story. Everybody has a story. But in life, is anything easy? Anything worthwhile easy? No. Anything worthwhile is going to take work. It's going to take commitment, but you can do it and you can get there. So how bad do you want it? You know what? You want the private pilot rating? Go for it. And even if you're older and you're not even sure, well, I think I want to do it. And I may not do it professionally, but at least want to learn. And I'm like, go get the private. You might be surprised at how much you like it. And if you can afford it and it's not going to hurt you financially, who cares if you start instructing at 61? There's nothing wrong with that. I, I have a, I'll add one more thing before we wrap it up. You know, I had one instructor who's like, or instructor, a member who's like, but Kenny, is anybody going to hire me, you know, in my late 50s or my early 60s? Would you hire a guy? I'm like, heck yeah, I would. If a guy walks in the door and he has the knowledge and presents himself well and can fly well in the aircraft, what's the difference of hiring a guy at 61 versus 21? What's the difference? The guy of 61 is going to be a little more mature, obviously by age, probably by nature. It's probably going to be uh, better to work with people. Maybe, you know, in some cases you got good and bad, any age, any, you know, you get what, I, you get what, you get what I'm saying. So nice job, Bruce. Believe in yourself. You've already started the dream. You've worked for it for years, 61 years old. Keep believing in yourself and go for it and keep us informed of your awesome progress. I'm Kenny Keller, Helicopter Line Ground School. Please subscribe to our channel. Click the bell so you can be notified of our daily video. We created a link yesterday, Coffee with Kenny. So we have a playlist. So for those of you that want to keep uh, tuning in every day, you can just go to Kenny or coffeewithkenny.com. The playlist will pop right up on your phone, your iPad, or whatever. And, and each day, the, the new video will be auto automatically added to the playlist so you can easily go find them. It's a neat deal. Private pilot membership. We have a private pilot membership for only $49 a month. You're going to spend somewhere probably between 10 to 20 grand for your private pilot license. You're going to spend a few hundred an hour for helicopter time. You're going to spend 50 an hour in that range to pay your ground instructor for flight time or ground time. Private pilot's a great deal. You can keep it as long as you like. You can cancel any time. You can come back anytime. There's also a 24-hour test drive. You can log in. Check out the training for 24 hours. If you decide it's not what you're looking for right now, you remove your credit card out of settings inside the site. You'll be billed nothing. If you if you sign up with PayPal, you go in PayPal and end that subscription. And again, you're welcome to take the 24-hour test flight. Then you can go month to month. Keep it a couple months. Take a break. Come back. And we have people more and more doing that where they, they jump in for a few minutes and they say, hey, I'm going to unsubscribe right now, but I'll be back. And then they come back two months later, six months later, um, a year later, whatever the case is. And they, and they also, 
you'll see them log in for a few months as a private subscription and then they'll end it and then a few months later you see them back as the commercial subscription they use it to help them get through commercial then they end it and then they come back for cfi monthly you know so the beauty is the training's there for you when you need it 24 hours a day seven days a week ipad android smartphone laptop desktop you can log in from anywhere and uh he mentioned we got 163 videos now in the private pilot course it's pretty comprehensive people ask all the time well what do you have in your course a lot okay we help prepare you for the written test the oral test flight test we have practice written test faa actual test questions where you can take practice test score those you get faa wings credit for those they're recognized by the faa for wings credit it's awesome stuff so one more time i'll put i'll put the link down below for helicopterground.com you can go there and check out our all of our memberships Please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notified of the new video every day. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Coffee with Kenny. Unofficially named Coffee with Kenny. And we will see you in the video tomorrow.